welcome to our show. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for staying up late. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Big weekend, of course, for Mizzou fans with football. We'll talk in a few minutes with the publisher of PowerMizzou.com, Gabe DeArmond. But first, a look back at Saturday's big Tiger football victory, a 29-point win, in fact, over Florida. It was Missouri's second-largest victory margin against a conference opponent since the Tigers moved to the SEC in 2012. KOMU 8's Joey Schneider looks at how one side of the ball for Missouri might have contributed more to the difference than expected. On a day where the Tigers scored 40 points for the third straight game, and Drew Locke moved second all-time on Mizzou's touchdown ranks, some will tell you that the offensive outburst may not have been possible without the defense. When your defense is clicking, that gives your offense energy, that helps build momentum, and then that momentum helps big plays happen. We're getting an opportunity that they get down in the red zone. You know, we've got to get in position where we force them into field goals. Florida found the end zone only once on three red zone attempts today as the Tigers contain the Gators, the fewest amount of points of any SEC opponent they've played since Barry Odom took over. Anthony Sherrills was among the catalysts. The senior started the day by forcing a special teams turnover that positioned Mizzou to its first touchdown. He added to it with six tackles and his first interception of the year. If I had a deep threat, it would be one of the tight ends. The wing went out quick, and the quarterback didn't throw it, so I locked on to the tight end. And he gave me a head fake to the inside, and I knew he was running the corner, so I just jumped it. But Sherrills wasn't alone. Mizzou's defense completed eight tackles for loss and defended two passes, topped by the game's only sack from Terry Beckner, Jr. Kind of a statement for our defense, man. Like, we can't get the job done. That's the main focus, man. We beat them every play at a time through all four quarters, like every minute of the quarter, every second of the quarter, man. So you just got to out-compete. You got to compete, out-compete people. Florida's defense threatened with an interception on the game's first drive. But even with the new Gators head coach, Mizzou's performance stood above previous SEC matches. We have chemistry now. And it, it just, we was building and building over, over the weeks. Um, and it's, it's coming together now. With three more conference games on deck and bowl implications on the line, how does the defense look to build off its recent momentum? We've got something going right now that, that um, we've got to focus on one day at a time. If we do that, then all that other stuff will, will take care of itself. It was a step in the right direction, no doubt. To go out on a six-game winning streak would, be, would mean more than anything, you know, with my guy. So we're just trying to push him and get there. Joey Schneider, KMU 8 Sports, Columbia. All right, Joey, thanks much. The Missouri defense is forced to turn over in all but one game since parting ways with former defensive coordinator DeMonte Cross in the second.